Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Emma and I make videos all about sewing, mainly hand sewing. And today is quite an exciting video because it's the first video from my new studio space. Now, if you're wondering what's going on, you might not have seen on Instagram or in my newsletter that I took a bit of a big risk, I made a big decision and decided to move my small business into a studio space and I've been in it properly now for about a week. By the time you see this video it'll be two weeks and it's all really good and going well so far. So today I thought I would show you around, chat to you a bit about what the space is like and what I'm going to be using it for and things like that. So I'll hope I hope that you'll enjoy seeing everything. It's early days yet. I've moved most of my things in here. The only thing that isn't in here today is my printer for packing orders and things like that. And there are some piles of mess as well that I haven't sorted through. But other than that, most things are in here and in the place that they're going to be. So I'll just quickly give you a brief overview before we have a look around the room and tell you just the background if you haven't read the newsletter and you don't know. So I have a small business online, a small online shop, but as soon as I opened that online shop, I ran out of space at home. I've been storing boxes in so many of the rooms at home, things everywhere. It's been annoying my husband quite a bit. And so that, that was always a problem. And I know lots of people have felt frustrated that things have gone out of stock because I haven't had the space at home to hold much stock. So that's always been a problem. The other thing is that I would like to teach some in-person classes and this studio space will allow me to do that. And the third thing is that being in a bigger room with more space will allow me to make better videos and all of those things put together helped me to come to the decision to take the plunge and move into this studio space. I think my videos will be better because I've got more room to get different angles and be more creative in what I'm making and I will be able to show you more. For example, a video that I'm halfway through making is about basting quilts and I had to put things out on my bed at home and it just, I couldn't film in there, it's, it's, it's a personal space, it just didn't feel right. Um, I, I couldn't spread out the quilt on the floor or on a table and be able to film it properly at home because there just wasn't the space. So I'm hoping now, being in this big room, it will really help me to make better videos. One of the really important things about this space is that it is walking distance to my home which is just unbelievable and so lucky and so fortunate so if I do ever forget something I can walk home in five minutes and go and collect it. It's a really tranquil space there are lots of other um, small businesses in this building that are centered around the theme of well-being it's called a well-being hub so we've got meditation here, counseling services, there are um, other alternative therapy services and things like that in this building. So it's a really nice, tranquil and quiet space to be in. There's a lovely woodland area to walk in just a stone's throw away. And yeah, it's a great place and it just all feels right. So fingers crossed this all works out and it becomes a really lovely haven for me to make my videos in, but also hopefully once or twice a month, invite people to come in for an in-person sewing class as well. So now we've talked about all of that, would you like to see around the room? Let me show you. So as you come into the room, this is what it looks like. You can see straight away that it is a really light room. We've got two windows on this side, a window straight ahead, and there is also another window just over there as well. So it is a really, really light space, which was obviously super important for any sewing business, particularly hand sewing. So I'm really grateful to have such a light space. So the first thing you see when you come into the room is the really big table in the middle of the room. And there are only four chairs around it at the moment. There will be two more chairs soon when I get them. And then this will be the place where people will sit to sew when we when I hold workshops here. And I had lots of fun reupholstering the chairs. So you can see I've put Kath Kidson on some of the chairs, three of the four, and I've got, I've got more fabric to do more chairs when I get two more chairs. So 
it's nice to add personal handmade touches. I want to make a big table runner for this table so if I do that I will definitely show you in a video and I also over here put a comfy chair and here is my Liberty cushion I made a few years ago and I want to do something with this chair to jazz it up a bit and make it more my style. A bit of an upcycling project I think on this chair and of course I'll show you that too. I'd like to make a footstool, I've got plans for that as well. So if you'd like to see how I'm making things in my studio I might put a video together about that. So I'll just back up a little bit and on this side of the room we've got the small fridge, a kettle, there will be cups and saucers and tea and coffee making facilities over here soon, just finalising all of that this week. And then as we walk down here we've got the comfy chair area and then I've got some shelves set up over here for my shop items. So on this one, at the top we've just got some of the samples of things that I've made like the hexagon sewing cases, the hexagon storage baskets, the blossom carryall case, the cosy cottage case there. So I'm just keeping my samples up there as a display and then we've got some of my shop bits and bobs, the scissors and things. We've got my fabrics that I use for kits over there. And this room's brilliant because it's got storage under the eaves, so there's really big cupboards in there for like surplus stock, so there's lots of glue pens and things under there. And my little boy had a great time unboxing all of the glue pens for me and putting them in there. He's been a great help. It's been a family affair sorting this room out. I'd help from everybody. And then over here, we've got more shop items. So the needles, the pins and things that I sell just laid out on there. And then around the window I've put some, not all, but some of my flower of the month mini quilts. I just used the hooks that were already in the room. I didn't want to put holes in the walls, didn't want to get into trouble. So that's why four are on hangers like this and this one over here is just stuck on with a command strip <laughs> but they just brighten up the room and make it a bit personal make it feel like home at the moment and they look really nice together so yeah then in this corner do excuse the mess i'm about to do some ironing and press all of my vintage sewing box bags, which look like this, the mini ones. So that's why they're all in a heap there. My little boy put them there actually. He was sorting them out for me. Because one of the great things about this room is it means I'm going to be able to have more kits available. So fabric under here for kits and other elements that go into kits. And I have some blossom carry case kits, just supplies only, no fabric already on the website. But this is my big cutting table and pressing table, which will allow me to prepare kits. So much easier than when I was doing it at home, when I was trying to work in the dining room and spread them out on my dining room table and then have to move things for dinner. So I don't have to do that now. I can spread them all out on here and just work more efficiently. Now, just before we carry on with the rest of the tour of the studio, I would just like to tell you about the sponsor of today's video, which is Serious Readers. Now, you may know that I've been working with Serious Readers for well over two years now. They are a fantastic company and I absolutely love their Serious Lights range. Now, I've been sent a brand new light from the Serious Lights range from Serious Readers and it is the high definition light, but it's a tabletop light and it's also the cordless model. So let's unbox it. From the moment you open your package, you know that your Serious Light is of a really high quality. There's so much detail in the packaging, so much thought's gone into it. And I really like there is minimal plastic. There's a little bit, but it's not too much. So at home, I have the high definition floor lamp. So this time I decided to go for a tabletop cordless model because I thought it would be excellent in the studio to move it to different parts of the room as and when I need it. It takes two hours to fully charge the high definition tabletop light and then once it is fully charged it lasts for seven hours. It doesn't go dimmer as the battery 
drains either. It stays at its full strength for the whole seven hours. So this is an excellent choice if you want to move your Sirius Light to different parts of your house. So if you'd like to find out more about the Sirius Lights range, then there's a link in the description box below. And if you were to decide to purchase one, then you can use my offer code EMMA24, and that will give you £100 off any high definition light and also free delivery. So definitely check that out. Thank you so much to Sirius Readers for sponsoring today's video. So moving on from the cutting table and this area, we've got some more cupboards under the eaves. So we've got this cupboard here, which is really, really big. It stretches all the way down to there. It's a huge amount of storage space. There's a little cubby here, which doesn't have a door on. And my little boy loves crawling in there and playing hide and seek and things like that. So that's really fun for him when he comes to visit. But this table set up under this window, I've got my tripod on it, a few bits and pieces, but this is where I've been taking photographs, where I'll be filming tutorials. I have my sewing machine down here, I haven't decided exactly where that's going to go yet. I might have it on this table, but if I'm doing a big quilt, I'll probably run an extension across and have my machine at the big table. That kind of makes sense. And then moving around to this side, I brought a set of drawers from home. I have another pink set of drawers that I'm going to put here. I just haven't brought them up yet for more of my personal sewing items and things like that. I've got some fabrics that need all sorting out. And again, there's the other part of the cupboard in the middle. And then on this table, I've got just things I need to sort out at the moment. So I've got um, another basket of fabric and things but this is going to be the packing table so I'm going to have my printer here and all of the mailing bags bubble wrap boxes and things like that are going to be kept in this cupboard so this is going to be the packing area for any online orders that I get so that's that corner and then we're back to the door to the room and this corner just doesn't have anything in it at the moment I'm sure I'll end up filling it with something, but there's just a, an empty space next to another cupboard under the eaves. And then we're back to the beginning again. So we've got the sort of drinks area, cozy area, and then back round to the room again. So that's the room and that is my studio and it's really coming together and it's starting to feel homely. So I'm sitting back over at the cutting table actually and so I just thought I'd have another little chat with you about the plans I've got for the room really and about the plans for workshops. So I'm, my plan at the moment is to host one or two workshops a month. They'll probably be on Saturdays and at the moment that's what I'm thinking anyway but of course all of this can change and there will be a maximum of six people at the workshop just because I mean, this is quite a big space, but it's not ginormous and we can comfortably sit six people here and I think that's a really nice number to start with. And so I'm just thinking through ideas of what the classes will be up on and I think things like embroidery and obviously English paper piecing and just designing some patterns and things specifically for those classes. I'm thinking it'll be really nice to do a class using vintage, using vintage embroidery transfers, maybe a beginner's embroidery class and um, things like that. So if you have any ideas or things that you think would work well, then let me know, things that you want to learn. Of course, all of my online things are still carrying on. This isn't going to take over from that. This is an, in addition to it and my online classes, I'm still working on those and everything will stay the same. Same number of videos, there may even be one or two extra videos um, now that I'm really dedicating even more time to, to this. So don't worry, nothing is going to change in terms of what I'm doing online. Patreon is still continuing and I'm really grateful for your support, whether you support me on Patreon, whether you support me here by watching my videos, whether you've bought anything from my online shop or you've bought a pattern, whatever, even if you just watch my videos and press the like button, I'm really, really grateful because every little bit helps and this is a huge, huge step for me and I don't know if it's going to work out. It's definitely a risk, but 
I'm just going to put everything into it and do my best and hopefully it will work out because it feels better to be in this space than being at home. I love my sewing room at home and of course I'll still be working in there in my free time, in my downtime. But things were taking over in our house too much and it wasn't comfortable for everybody. And also I wasn't working efficiently. I wasn't able to produce the amount of kits that I needed to produce and I'll be able to get someone to help me more easily here. And hopefully, it's going to take some time, but hopefully I'll get to a point where I'm keeping up a bit better. So that is why I made the decision to move into this space. It's on the top floor, I don't think I mentioned that before. So it's on the top floor of a three floor building. It, it, I think it's going to be really nice. For, I think people will, will enjoy coming here. It's a quiet area. When you look out the window, you can see green trees because there is a woodland there. And yeah, it's very tranquil and peaceful and, and nice. So I do hope people will enjoy coming to visit when I get around to that. I'm hoping to have the first class up in July. If not, it's going to be August. So not too long to wait. I want to do a practice run first, um, just to make sure, I, because we plan on offering an afternoon tea style lunch. Um, so little sandwiches, homemade scones. I believe I'm pretty good at making scones, so I've been told. So I'll be doing that and things like that. So we, we need to do a practice run to make sure we, we can do it to a good enough standard and then we'll be ready to invite people. And so I'm going to get some help, obviously, from my mom and my husband is going to help. He'll be the one bringing the food up um, from home where we've got a bigger fridge and can store it all better. And he'll be helping me clear up as well. <laughs> and I know he doesn't mind. Um, so we've got the plans in place. We just need to see if we can, we can pull it off now and if it can work out and if anybody can come. So fingers crossed. But as I said, nothing's going to change in terms of what I'm putting out onto the internet. Um, you know, that might even increase and it will hopefully get better because it's just great to have so much room. And I, like I said, I've been filming that video about basting quilts and I stopped halfway through and I'm going to carry on with that in the studio so when that video comes out you'll see part of it in my house and then part of it here but I'm hoping I can show you so much more with doing that here so that might be a while that video because I think I want to make the table runner for the table in the middle and upcycle that chair a little bit I think I want to do that first just to add some more personal touches to the room. So I think I'll make that video and then I'll show you that and then we'll get back to the quilts. So I hope that's interesting for you. I hope you've enjoyed seeing a bit around the studio and hearing the plans for what we've got coming up and how I hope it will all pan out in the future. Um, so thank you again for your support, however you're supporting me. It, it means so much and yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited that things are going to get hopefully even better. So until the next video, take care of yourself and let me know what you think about all of this in, in the comments below. And I'll see you really soon. Take care. Bye bye.